Open your eyes, illuminate your mind. They're feeding us lies through the grapevine for this great time in which they prophesize. Since the posters of war to the banks, he's of yours. Don't follow the tricks to be your own guy. Now give me a hear, give me your sight, give me your sixth sense of might. Obey, obey, it's from the televice. My local masterpiece will save you. Change how they made you. Future for you is your own truth. Brainwash the biases that ain't you. Good like that federal brother fake you. Pony boy, stay true. <laughs> I'm working on stuff that's like in my soul and in my heart rather than like changing outward things. Mm. Our current education system is very effective in training the students to conform to the current social structures and social systems and to improve them incrementally. Mm -hmm. But uh, our sustainability challenges require also transforming these systems. With this class I really feel like I'm working on stuff like within myself like to get more agency, to realize that I have more power to change things. Having um, done my bachelor's degree in environmental science and policy at a very uh, traditional institution in the sense that it was very, you know, lecture format and we were asked to memorize lots of things and kind of regurgitate and show our legitimacy through that means. Um, oftentimes when studying this material, I felt really disempowered. And that's why David and I in this class have really intentionally tried to, to engage the subjective processes and the internal dimension. I feel like an expert experience is when the toddler will go into a circle and we'll hold each other's hands and just close your eyes and just relax for a moment. We just kind of like let all those feelings go and you don't really get that in any other class? I think in the other classes I'm more just like processing like knowledge even like when I took like a sustainability class where I really felt like it moved me to change stuff about myself like to change my practices like um like use less plastic and stuff like that. I need to have something creative to do to to keep keep things inside myself like going. The students enter the class with uh, the expectation of, of this hierarchy you know? mm -hmm. and it's uh, it requires uh, like an explicit effort uh, mm -hmm. to to this uh, discourage to, to disable and so we want to show that in our video yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know we we're talking about turning you know turning yeah. uh, pers perspectives upside down and seeing uh -huh. things from a new way so we yeah. wanted to yeah I mean this, have fun this with that. turning perspectives and challenging hierarchies have to do also with the space no and yeah how the space are, are organized and the first thing that we can observe is that our breathing has changed the way we're talking the way we're talking the, the consciousness oh, yeah. of our bodies also we feel much more vulnerable right now. I really like that you guys encourage us to come out of our like, traditional shells that we usually sit in. You push us to do uncomfortable activities <laughs> at, at times, but then it makes us more comfortable. You, this class encourages you to imagine things and, and kind of go a little bit further and, and try to uh, connect vision with with what your mind tells what, what your mind tells you is a reality and, and uh, mm. I think that's really powerful. You'll see specifically forum theater used and in forum theater um, the students will act out kind of one version of the current state of the situation and then they will re you know replay it and then audience members or spect actors are invited to then interject in a situation and transform the scene and it's all done under the lens of international development and sustainability because that's the, the topic of, of this class. All right, we'll take the deal. Wait, that was there. Wait, I didn't get that. Stop, stop. stop. <laughs> How about, uh, what are you guys building uh, in terms of community resources? How about education opportunities or uh, culture development in, in our land? Yeah, once we get enough money and uh, like if you guys want to like long-term deal, yeah, we can make it. Sure, because it's not all about the jobs, it's also about uh, long-term opportunities for all of us. Really, I think it was an interesting way to learn, because I could have read about these current events and gotten the gist of it, but actually acting them out kind of invoked feeling for these situations. We're trying to complement the content, uh, knowledge that uh, students can get exposed to through activities like uh, theater of the press to actually process the knowledge emotionally, mm -hmm. not only intellectually. I come from a very poor community, of course, from 29 million of Brazil. Um, cannot really afford all the treatment um, that Zika is bringing to the community. Mm -hmm. And 
now besides that, I found out I am pregnant and I have the virus. I have two daughters. One is just starting her sexual activity. And <laughs> now we go to the doctor and they say that she has no contraception available. And we really need you guys to start to focus on having different policies or prioritizing the real problem of Rio de Janeiro. We're just so backed up with all this Olympic stuff. I just feel like, where is the money going to come from? Who's going to organize this? Because I can't stop. <laughs> I work for an NGO, and I would like to suggest a policy that you would allow my organization to come in and provide contraceptives for your people. Sustainability, sometimes you can get really down about the world and how things are going. When we talk about the good transformations that are happening or that can happen with just support from the public or like the power that individual has is really, that's really nice to keep focusing on that. There is a risk here of overwhelming students with uh, knowledge or an abstract type of uh, understanding the complexities involved in these transformations. Mm -hmm. But if this is not complemented somehow mm -hmm. with um, tools and processes that allow students to transform them themselves you know? mm -hmm. because uh, becoming an agent of transformation is not just a matter of learning about transformation. <laughs> We're going to start a new party and they'll be revolutionaries and uh, we advocate to overthrow the Greek government and the banks in order to restart. Are you there's, no, there's no future. Good luck like starting in the Great Depression. That, that's what we have to do. Well, who's going to pay us back then with all of our money? There's no paying back. You guys are <laughs> 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 You get a little bit more into it, your, your whole body and mind is into it, and so you start thinking more about it rather than just sitting there having someone talk and like you're supposed to say something smart every once in a while, but being afraid that it's not smart. <laughs> it's not the student who is going to make the transformation, it's the student who is going to, as an agent for transformation, is going to inspire others mm -hmm. to also engage internally, and then the transformation will emerge from the engagement of, of a collective. Also from this concept of us being spect actors. Yeah. So in addition to being spectators, watching, you know, watching a situation, we realize that we are also actors. <laughs> you can wipe off wipe off those characters. Okay. Now you're a new we character. Just get rid of this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's up guys? <laughs> from the top, no script here. So, this dude Bernie Sanders is running for president. Everyone's calling him a socialist, but really he's a democratic socialist, which is basically the same as the Democrat Party of four years ago. His values aren't really radical, he's Stop. just... I feel like aren't really radical, that's opinion. Yes, I agree. We're not radical in comparison to presidents like... Stop, I still think that. <laughs> we start with the theater of the press. Mm -hmm. But then we engage or ask students to engage in also artistic uh, forms of expression that have to do with advocacy for change and that are based on, the, on this deep understanding about the situation, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that they want to change, that they want mm -hmm. to transform. But then they think about uh, what they can do, what means, what resources they have mm -hmm. uh, available. And, Fortunately, these resources are increasing. So, so here the, the challenge is really to incorporate this element of creating, of creativity, mm -hmm. to, to take risks, to feel vulnerable, mm -hmm. to, to explore with mm -hmm. the new, to, to, to feel like a fool sometimes, yeah. right? <laughs> but, but for a reason, not just yeah. being fool for being fool, yeah. right? Through which they can learn more about themselves, about their powers, their internal powers, their mm -hmm. capacities, and then uh, they develop an ability to incorporate content in, 